Hello, this is Be Still and Know with Jonathan Edwards. Let's hear the Bible together. Psalm 24, verse 1. The earth is the Lord's, and all that is in it, the world, and all who live in it. Greta Thunberg, the Swedish teenage climate activist, has been amazingly effective in helping the world to wake up to the reality of our abuse of this planet. She said to a UN climate summit, Sometimes we just simply have to find a way. The moment we decide to fulfil something, we can do anything. And I'm sure the moment we start behaving as if we were in an emergency, we can avoid climate and ecological catastrophe. Humans are very adaptable, she said. We can still fix this, but the opportunity to do so will not last for long. We must start today. We have no more excuses. I think the psalmist would have shouted hallelujah to greet his words. His starting point was that the world is the Lord's, and so we have the responsibility to care for the world that God has given us. We are answerable for this majestic planet, and we'll have to give an account to God for the way in which we've looked after it. The truth is that we have acted as if this were our world, and that we were not accountable to anyone else. We've let our selfish agenda rule, burning carbon fuels, poisoning our rivers, clearing our forests, and doing whatever suited our insatiable materialistic appetite. I've no doubt that for much of the time our abuse of the planet was rooted in ignorance. We had no idea that our actions were having the disastrous effect that they were, but now we know. And so we need to live in the light of that knowledge. Greta is right. We've run out of excuses. We must now commit ourselves to looking after this amazing world that God has given to us. Greta also said, Many people say that Sweden is just a small country and it doesn't matter what we do, but I've learned you are never too small to make a difference. You and I can make a difference, and I believe that God is calling us to do just that. Let me pray with you. Lord God, our Father, we give you thanks for this amazing world. Help us to treasure it and to use its resources wisely. Amen. It's been a pleasure to spend these moments with you. I'd be delighted if this were not a one-way communication. So if you've got any questions or comments, do please write to me at jonathan.edwards at premier.org.uk. I'll then get back to you in complete confidence as soon as I can. Visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope and join our growing Voice of Hope family. And follow along with these daily meditations at home in print, direct to your favourite mobile device, or as a daily podcast on the app Podbeam. I am Jonathan Edwards, and I encourage you to join me as I share a thought from the Bible Monday to Friday every week. May God bless you.